Hi everyone, my name's Kate and I'm going to be showing you how to make some salt raised paintings. It's really nice because the salt gives it sort of a crystal like really 3D effect um, and it's quite fun to do so I thought I would show you how to do it. So first of all what you're going to need is some paper it's good if this can be card or thicker paper um, but if you've just got plain paper that's fine maybe so I've put some newspaper down or maybe some sheets or something to protect the surface or if you've got a tray that could be useful because we're going to be shaking salt off the painting um, so then it's easier to gather it up if it's on a tray or a larger piece of paper you're going to need some PVA glue, doesn't matter what sort of um, PVA glue, and just some standard table salt. Um, and then you're going to need some colours, so um, water based paints or inks would be fine. Um, so I've got here into in bowls some water based inks that I've put a bit of water with as well. Um, you can use sort of finger paints, poster paints, paints from a palette um, but it needs to be quite a liquid paint so you might want to add a bit of water to the paints. You can also use just um, food colourings if you've got some in your kitchen. Um, yeah again like, as long as it's water based anything is fine. So I'm going to start by taking the glue and drawing a design or you, so you could do a scribble sort of pattern or you could do a picture um, yeah, so you just draw your design with the glue So I'm doing a, a rainbow um, and then I'm going to have some clouds down here as well. And then the next thing you're going to do is put the glue to one side and take your salt and you need quite a bit of salt and you're just going to pour the salt over the glue so it's got a good covering over the whole of the picture And then when it's all really nice and covered, I think that should be enough, then you're going to shake it off. So then, can you see it's nice and raised and all covered in salt, but there's not any extra salt on the paper. And then, oh sorry, that's the other thing, you're going to need some brushes, there's some paint brushes or... Um, and then I'm going to take one of the colours and just dab it onto the salty glue. You can use any colours you'd like and make any sort of picture that you like. You could do a house or you could do some flowers so you just want to cover as much of the salty glue as you'd like 
And when you've finished colouring um, all the all of the salty glue, then um, you need to leave it to dry for a day, at least overnight, but a day or two. It'll probably take to dry fully. And as it dries, it becomes more crystallised. I'm just washing my brush in some water before I use another colour so the colours don't mix where I don't want them to. And there we go. That's how you make a raised salt painting. And if, so in this one I've kept all the colours quite separate for this um, rainbow. But in uh, this one that I did earlier, can you see all the colours are sort of blending into each other and you can make some really nice effects. And once this has dried, it will become, it will look a bit more crystallised. Um, yeah, so I hope you have fun trying out some raised salt painting.